Acharya Shri, what is Jainism and are you Jain? What a beautiful question. Jainism is very ancient system and it is not what people think that it started from Mahavira. Mahavira happened like uh, 2600 years ago. Even the historians who ever mentioned that Jainism started from the that it, he was the uh, founder of Jainism, those historians are very much wrong. Yes, the Jain world was not there. The world itself, Jain, it came, it existed after Mahavira. Because um, before we used to call Jainism different way. It was Samnopasak, the name. Name was changing according to the time. Like Mahav, uh, Mahav, before Mahavira, the 23rd Tirthankar Parshanath, we never call the Shravak and Shravika. Either we used to call them Samnopasak or Parshvapatika. Parshvapatyak. It was a Sanskrit word. Parshvapatyak means the, the children of Parshanath. But it changes according to the time. So if you go to the deep into the history, this system begins thousands of years. And I still strongly tell people that read the history. Go to the uh, Sindhu civilization, Mohanjodaro Harappa. There are many evidence, many, many evidence that it was the very peaceful civilization, Sindhu civilization. And they were following Shraman Parampara. Shraman Parampara means the, they were following the monks and nuns. Shraman Parampara. And that's what they were Shramanic. When they follow the Shraman Parampara, in Sanskrit we call them Shramanic. And in Prakrit language, we call them Samanik. Who follow the Samanas called Samanik. So the Jain system used to be a Samanik tradition. And you will be surprised. In America, the native people, here, the native people in America, they follow the same system till today they call them Samanik too. There are traditions here in this country. So somehow we are all connected. So the even though Jain word it new, but the system is same. Adinath, the first Tirthankar, there are many evidence that his teachings were very popular in Sindhu civilization because people were very peaceful, non-violent, I can tell you one thing about Jainism, even though it is very, one of the oldest religion in the world, one of the oldest, but that is sure, historian, they think at least it is 5,000 years old, but I don't buy it. I think it is even older than that, because the teachings of the Adinath, the first Tirthankara, but it is Jainism, it is popular, Rishabdeva. Rishabha means bull. He became popular by his symbol, by his uh, symbol bull, Rishabha. And his teachings were so popular, so it seems like it was already the first Tirthankara was even existing thousands of years before than Sindhu civilization, because his teachings were so popular. So the Jain uh, that is no doubt about it. It is the one of the oldest religion and is the best religion in that way that that's what I'm going to tell you. What is the most significant about Jainism is Jainism is the only religion which never, never compromise with the violence since 
it existed since beginning. They will compromise with other things, but they never compromise with violence. So it is fully non-violent religion. It used to be a system, but unfortunately it became a religion. So the second question you ask about me that are you a Jain? If you see by karma, yes, I am a Jain by karma. Even though I was not born in Jain family, I was born in warrior class. But I can tell you that my family is was more than Jan. Because I remember my grandmother, she didn't allow even to the family even tomato. Till she was alive, in our family there was never came tomato. Tomato never was used. Because they used to ask her why. He said, when you cut, it seems like a piece of meat. I am coming from that family. And by karma, Jain is, religion, Jain is considered by karma. If, if your karma, your actions are that way, that you are Jain. Anyone can be Jain, actually, if they are karma, if they are fully non-violent. They don't believe in killing, hurting, harming anyone. So he or she is Jain already. By karma you can say, yes, I am Jain, but my teachings are universal and Jain's teachings are considered universal if you just don't get involved into religion. When you get involved into religion, you are putting yourself in the small box. But it is unfortunate. People are putting themselves into the small box. They need to be. Mahavira was not Jain. He never put, uh, uh, after his name, he was Jain. His teachings were universal. Like Rishabdev's teachings were universal. It, is, it brings peace in the world. It brings non-violence in the world. And when it is non-violence, people follow it. We help each other. We help the whole world. That is the system we build it. That is the system of Jain system. If we can still follow, it is more valuable. It can change the whole world. Because another thing, Jainism, they don't believe in war at all. When they don't believe, but it doesn't mean they don't believe in defense. They defy. They will defend the country, they will defend their society, they will defend their uh, people, they will defend the society people live. Defending is different thing. Attacking to someone is totally different thing. Attacking is a war. Defending is not a war. You have to defend yourself, to your family, to your nation. They believe in that. So people are confused. If they don't believe in war, they will not fight. No, Jain kings used to fight because they have to defend their own nation, their own people. And it doesn't go against of religion. So even though it is incredible religion, but I still want to say Jainism is a system. If you follow that system, you will be surprised. Your soul get enlightened. Your soul will be awakened. And that is the Jain system teaches. Jai Siddhartha.